Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's a bins day. It's a gorgeous day here in Northern California. It's about 8 a.m. The sun is already shining. It's supposed to be like 75 degrees today. I have no idea where I'm giving you a full-on weather report. <laughs> Let's just get through to the Goodwill Outlet bins where we're going to sift through giant blue bins of pre-owned clothing. It costs $3.45 per pound. And then I sell that stuff on eBay and Poshmark and I'm going to try and find you some great brands so that you can learn that in the thrift haul today. And we're gonna have fun, so let's go. First, let me show you my lavender plant. I'm filming this late spring 2024 and my lavender plant that was a little baby last year is totally taken off, let me show you. Here she is, isn't that beautiful? I put it right by my front door so I can come out here in the mornings and see it and smell the lavender. We're gonna have a great day, let's go. All right, friends, we're walking towards my cart. It is going to be a very good bins day. They have not done any rotations yet. I'm just going through what they've put out this morning. And in this pile right here, I've got two pairs of Lululemon leggings, some Patagonia, some Free People. So, and I've only been here like 30 minutes or something. So that's exciting. Hoping these are my size, but they're an XL. Some like Patagonia jogger pants. So, so good. I can't wait to check in with you. I grabbed a bunch of these bags just when I was walking in. So, um, I haven't looked them over or anything. All right, so sometimes there are things that I just find, like, painful as a reseller. Like, these great brands that don't necessarily sell well. There's a lot of jackets and blazers here today, which makes sense because it's spring. And I think Goodwill, they're not selling, so they're going in here. Look at this blazer. Totally gorgeous, right? And then it is Hugo Boss. Okay, Hugo Boss is a designer, but I cannot sell Hugo Boss to save my life. I've tried it a few times because I know it retails so expensive and it just sits. So I'm passing, and it's hard to pass on an item that looks like so, that you know is so good. It's just like I have one in my hand right now, which is a Lafayette 148 blazer that I probably shouldn't buy because it's another brand that's so expensive and just takes a long time to sell, but it's very hard for me. That's a J. Crew extra small. It's very hard for me. Here's the Lafayette 148, but in a size 12 too. This is like a $300 blazer, but I will buy it and it'll probably sit for me for a while. Torrid size four, that's really pretty. Ugh. How do you guys do with blazers? I mean, some people say these blazers sell so well, and I, I just occasionally sell a blazer. They're not like a super hot mover. So let me know how you guys do. If there's anything we can learn from you about any of these brands and about blazers. Friends and welcome to the haul portion of the video where I will be showing you everything I bought. I'll be showing you name brand tags and using as many keywords as I can to help describe the item so that you can use those same brands, styles, keywords to list your item online and hopefully make a little bit more money. The more you know, the more you can make, right? I always include other clips throughout the video of the bins and other reseller related stuff and the bloopers are always at the end of the video. So let's get into it be sure you're subscribed this stuff in this particular bin that i'm going to show you i already steamed and photographed to get it ready for listing because i keep running out of things to list <laughs> okay I, I, these are these are linen wide leg pants i pick up almost every pair of linen wide leg pants around this time of year getting ready to go into spring and summer these are uh the brand stylist and they're an lt which is large tall i love having tall anything these are an elastic waist wide leg blue pockets linen pants i got some of these chico cargos these tend to sell well for me around this time of year 2.5 is like an xl they have their own sizing i just took a picture of chico's size chart since i picked the brand up enough and i keep it in a folder on my phone with other things like that other brand size charts and i just pop it in my photos these are elastic waist, black, lightweight cargo pants, and these are convertible. So they have these little snaps and you can roll it up and there's a tab in here. 
and so you can wear them as like crop capris if you want so the I call those convertible pants a lot of like outdoor pants have that feature we have some Athleta there's their little logo there and I'm excited about this pair of Athleta because they're wide leg I still pick up the leggings and things of the bins because my cost of goods at the bins is approximately two dollars often it's less than that so I'll still pick them up and flip a pair of Athleta leggings for 15 to 20 dollars but these are a nice wide leg flare which is a more popular style in leggings than the, the skinny legging most of us have been wearing these last couple years let me adjust this little Boop, boop, boop. There we go. <clears throat> this is a cool brand. I think it's sold on sites like Revolve, trendier uh, stuff. The brand is something navy. Kind of an unassuming tag. It makes it a little bit hard to search comps for because anything with navy comes up. But this is a very popular style right now that I think is worth picking up. They're high-waisted pleated pants, okay? very loose and baggy those are some keywords and wide legs so very 90s a lot of people are wearing these with a a longer inseam so it's sort of like drapes over your shoes people are wearing these with sneakers just a loose fit baggy pair of pants this is a free people top love the brand free people they have so many different tags this is just one tag free people size small little cropped sweatshirt with some lace detail insets that is so cute it looks it's a size small it looks small for a small so i will note that i will put in the description c measurements in my photos i made a change about a year ago where i'm taking photographs of my measurements and inserting that right into the listing i'm hoping that will um, i'm hoping that by having the measurements right in the photos that will decrease returns as a clothing seller i don't get many returns but i do probably get a few returns a month or something and they're almost always for size this is liverpool this brand i know is carried and sold at the at stitch fix but other places as well i got this because it's a 2x blazer it's an open front kind of longer length blazer plus size plaid blue i this is a 2x i probably would not have got it if it was like an extra small this is an expensive men's brand which does sell well it sometimes takes a while it's ted baker they also make women's and i pick it up because it is quite expensive retail it's sold at stores like nordstrom bloomingdale's this is a pair of men's blue cargo style pants and you can feel the quality these are very expensive retail I just feel like it's not like usually a super quick fast flip for me i usually um have to wait a little bit to bring that sale in oh this is one of my favorite items sometimes it's painful that it's not my size <laughs> but what are you gonna do i'll be happy photographing it and sending it to just the right person this is a free people dress it's a mustardy color and it's got heavy pink embroidered flowers it has a flare ruffle sleeve how cute is that for the summer it's so good this is yet another free people tag it's got the bar size small sometimes i can fit into a size small and free people because a lot of their stuff is hugely oversized but that is not so it's not for me this is a good find especially being plus size there's some brands I'll pick up, I don't care what size it is. If I find Eileen Fisher, I'm picking it up in an extra small. It's going to sell better in a plus size. If I find Everlane, there's a lot of brands that I'll just pick up regardless of size. But some, I'll only pick up in a large size. This is the brand Fresh Produce. Their stuff is usually 100% cotton. It's, it's made in the USA. And it usually has a beachy theme i think this is supposed to be a shell print but it's a 1x and it's got an asymmetrical hem and it's a tunic so it's longer than a t-shirt but not quite a dress so i will put fresh produce woman's plus size 1x 
tunic top, shell print, asymmetrical hem, beach, vacation, as many of those type of words as I can get in there. Try and get that sold. These are great for the season now too. This brand is level 99. Level 99, some pieces at times have been carried at Anthropology. These are a lightweight, kind of chambray Tencel Lyocell pants. Um, they have a cuff at the bottom, just great casual mid-rise, lightweight. I like this kind of distressed wash on these. They're not like bright olive. They're like muted distressed olive. All right. This is a brand that I will pick up some pieces and not others. It's Foxcroft. I got this because it's a larger size, size 12, and um, it's that Tencel Lyocell again. It's a longer length button-down career top, I think. I just really like that piece in particular. They make a lot of stuff with crazy prints, and I, like their business shirts don't quite sell as well for me, but I really like the style on that particular piece. Here's another Chico's item. This is a very lightweight cardigan. It's a size two, so that's a large. This is one of their newer, newest tags, so it's not like an old piece by them. Very lightweight, printed with a little metallic, longer length, thin cardigan. Nothing crazy there. This was a great day at the bins though, friends. I have a lot of Lululemon in this haul, which is always so exciting. It's in here somewhere. I got a couple handbags. This is a new tag black label J. Crew. There's many different lines of J. Crew. This is one of their higher end lines, that black label. It's new with tag, navy blue boat neck top. See that neckline is a boat neck. This is odd though. Look at the sleeves. They're like flared sleeves with button detail. I just don't know how that would look on. <laughs> it's wide all the way down, but someone might really like that. It, to me, it looks a little nautical or preppy. This is a very expensive brand. It's Rebecca Taylor. I personally love their pieces. And I usually say it's another one that doesn't usually sell fast. It's very expensive retail. This is a size eight on that little charm. And this is a very lightweight gauze thin top with kind of a cap sleeve that's got sequins and metallic. So I usually love all the keywords in here that are like peasant, gauze, romantic. It's almost sheer, it's so light. And I picked up another one of these and it had like a blue bohemian print and that one sold right away for $24.99 plus shipping. So I felt like, why don't I, maybe that's a style people like in that brand. So I'm gonna try it again. All right, friends, so this just happened. I just popped into the Salvation Army for a moment because my son's at his play rehearsal and I have to kill an hour. And I found my ultimate Bolo brand, Magnolia Pearl. This is a dress, it's intentionally distressed. It'll be, I think, $8.99 for a dress. Also a new tag free people, but I'm like, this has been on my list for the entire time I've ever been selling, so I am speechless. All right, it's me back in the garage again. Just wanted to show you, I ran into Salvation Army very quickly. I, I had dropped my son Torvald off and he, I had an, like 45 minutes. I ran in there and got some killer items. These free, We the Free Jeans, Free People. I don't usually pick up Free People jeans because they're a hard sell, but this pair is exactly trending on style right now. Super wide leg, high-waisted, exposed button in a size 34, okay? And then I got these dresses. New with tag, free people dress. It's a long sleeve, balloon sleeve, all gathered and ruched with like a tie waist, okay? And it's new with tags. Dresses were $8.99, which is a lot. And then, I'm sure I already shared this with you. I just can't even... I did a little research on comps. I think I'm going to put this Magnolia Pearl um, up for $350 auction. And I think I can get like $350 for this. Magnolia Pearl is romantic, um, distressed, bohemian, lagging look. And this was just hanging there. And this was like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. 
Four o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. I wonder how many people passed over this thinking, what's that rag? <laughs> and then I got two free people beach dresses. Just another line of free people. I'll show the tag and size large. How amazing is that? And this is what is going to sell the best. This is a super long maxi. There's more value. People will pay more. It's an entire outfit. Super long. There's nothing on this except a little linty thing. Super long. Okay, super long. And then this one too. These were all sitting there. Why? Now the thing I love about this Salvation Army is that they don't have a marked up section, okay? Every Goodwill and everything has like a marked up super, oh, these are good items, we're going to mark them. They don't do any markups. And this one's an XL. Thank you. I'm going to have a hard time photographing it, but they have like newer styles, so I'm hoping I can find stock photos. So here's a question I have for you. Let me know in the comments. Why are the thrift hauls when you just run into the store real quick and you have no time and you're like, I don't know if I should even run in, but I'm going to. Why are those the best thrift hauls ever? Does anyone know? Because <laughs> that's my experience. Is it yours? I'm going to try it again. This is a Free People Beach item. Yet again, another Free People tag. Beach. I just list everything as Free People personally. And I've sold this sweatshirt over the years. I've sold the sweatshirt probably three or four times. It's like a cowl neck. A lightweight sweatshirt tunic so it's a longer length it's got distressing and a big cowl neck we're getting through it these are Judy blue jeans <laughs> I didn't even know about Judy blue I really don't even understand Judy blue but it's a brand that sells denim pretty well um, Judy blue these aren't a big size or anything they're a 728 just a dark wash Jean with some dis distressing. I don't know why people love these so much. Do you guys know? Let me know in the comments. I've learned from you guys that it sells so well. To me, it looks like, I don't know, nothing fantastic. But this is a cute kids brand called Hatley. And this is a size 7 girls raincoat with a hood with an apple print. That is so cute. Am I going to make a ton of money on this? No, it's probably going to sell for $15.00. 18 or 20 if I'm lucky but I do love kids stuff and I love the idea of saving some of this great kid stuff and maybe selling it to moms and dads and people that need a good deal on some kids stuff this is Talbot's in a 16 16 W which I think is 16 woman which is plus and this is a houndstooth print blazer Okay, if you don't know the difference between houndstooth and herringbone, look them up. I'll probably look it up and double check <laughs> before I list this item. I think I'll know it, and then I'll be like, oh, wait, which one's which? But that can add value to an item, those two different prints. They're very classic, so just Google it. A pair of Lululemon high rise. I believe these are line leggings. There's the Lululemon. Hi, wasted the black leggings. These ones have a little bit of like an embossed print, but the solid black leggings and tops, I think do the best in the brand. A woman at the bins gave this to me. They all know me, like they know. <laughs> I only go like once a week, but I'm so over the top boho -y, I think that they're like, anything that looks free people, lacy, crochet-y, they're like throwing my way. <laughs> this is awesome, it's a free people open knit sweater but it's a large too a slouchy i'll use that word it's kind of got an open knit marled oversized this is pretty oversized because i'm a large i love that okay all right i'm at my cart and i'm starting to do sorting they just did one rotation and there was some pretty good stuff in there um especially this you know me I'm a Northern California boho girl through and through, although I'm actually from Boston, so. <laughs> Look at the mustardy yellow color and all this embroidery. I love embroidery. This is a free people dress. It's a size small. I don't think it'll fit me. That's so sad. Look at the bell sleeve. Oh God, I just am in heaven. It's gonna be a good bin stay. I might get out of here early, guys. If I can stay on top of my sorting. This is stuff I'm taking so far, and this is everything I have not sorted. <laughs> yeah. 
There's my favorite worker. Rosario, love her. <laughs> Alright, so let's see why nobody wanted these Lululemon pants. Because I just went through this bin. It was totally well, picked over. Everything was moved to one side of the bin because it had been so thoroughly sorted through. And then I see this tag. I'm like, that's a Lululemon tag. Men's size 36. This tag is meant to be torn out. So if someone's wearing these a lot, that tag, or washing them, that tag would not be intact. But I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with these. Maybe it's because they don't have, like, the big Lululemon logo. There's a little bit of wear on them. A little bit of marks on that pocket. No big deal. Interesting. Well, we lucked out with those. I have a few pieces of Lululemon. A bunch of pieces of free people already, so that's a good day. I gotta look through this stuff. I just found this gorgeous skull hat. Here's the tag on that. This is a good old hat making brand. And look at the little feather and the branding. Let's see. This says large. I think I have a small head. <laughs> I don't know if this is a men's large or a women's large. Ooh, that is cute. My mom loves hats. So maybe she'll get this one. It is pretty cute. But I think hats tend to be big on me because I think I just have a little head. <laughs> Friends, I am interrupting your video because I'm doing a little bit of shipping and I thought I'd just share a few things with you that I got from the Goodwill Outlet Bins to resell on eBay and Poshmark. This one is so fun. I've talked to you before about selling linens. At my bins, they charged me $2 for a sheet. And this was a vintage Ralph Lauren Stone Harbor was the print. It was a king sheet and I found two pillowcases. It sold for $79.99. Plus shipping, so the buyer's total was $93.48 for these sheets. I told you in the video, this is vintage Ralph Lauren. I know it's going to do well. I believe this person had a, must have had an alert set up. You can do that on eBay where if you're looking for a specific item, you can ask eBay to alert you via email when someone lists that item because this sold like in minutes. And I probably priced it way too low, but I'm like $80 for my $2 prof. My $2 cost of goods, that's amazing. Keep your eyes out for good quality linens. Ralph Lauren's a great name. I'm also going to highlight this item for you. This is a mini Bowden little kid's dress. Um, I listed it for $19.99 plus shipping. I got several lowball $10 offers right away. I got an offer for $14 plus shipping, and I accepted that. This is a super lightweight, adorable little dinosaur dress and a 3T. Mini Bowden is a great kids band. Brand worth picking up if you're willing to sell things for between like, you know, $12 to $20. I think this is worth talking about because this is Zara, and I've I've talked to you a little bit about Zara, that yes, it's a fast fashion brand, but they also have many different lines. They have higher quality lines. Anyway, this was a size large, heavily embroidered dress. I got it for style, long sleeve mesh with all this heavy embroidery, and this sold for $19.99 plus $5.99 shipping. Let's take a look at a few bags. Um, this one needs a cleanup, but it looks really good. The brand is Solo, S-O-L-O, -O, and it's a distressed brown leather backpack. I can clean this up. I'm just gonna, there's nothing here but like some fade. So I'm going to just use a damp cloth and wipe that off, and then I'm going to polish it. This is really nicely made. Looks like they were selling between $40 and $60. So that's great. I got this Patagonia bag and I kind of went back and forth because it's branded, but I think the branding is okay. So here's a Patagonia backpack and here's the Patagonia hit here. I'm going to throw this in the bathtub with soapy water and let it soak and then just scrub it. See here it says Zephyr Health. So I don't know if Zephyr Health is some organization and they bought all these for the employees. But I thought saying Zephyr Health wouldn't be that bad. Like, if I was carrying a pad, it would go in your bank. I wouldn't want it to say, like, First National Bank on it, but something about the health thing I just thought might be okay. It's a nice, it's a nice bag. So, I'll report back. Oh, I forgot about this. This is a really nice coach bag. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you know what that sound means if you're a regular on the channel. What am I going to say? Don't try it on. <laughs> 
Whatever you do, don't try it on. This is a good one though. It's like more modern. It's not an old vintage one. Okay. We got the coach there, black, heavy gold heart hardware. It also has a shoulder strap. These are shoulder handles. It has the um, nice heavy hardware. This is removable. Okay, this is really nice. I love the shape. And what you can do with these, here's the little charm too. I love when they have a good charm on there. I think this is a good one, we'll see. Inside, pretty clean, just has some white dusty stuff. So what you can do is put this number on the bottom into Google coach bag and the serial number and I can get a style. Gosh, this is in pretty darn good shape. I just saw these in the bins when I was coming in. Like I walk in past the hard goods wear section that's not closed and there was just a bunch of bags thrown on top. So I just like grabbed these and then went to the clothing section. Mama might need a new bag. <laughs> I have this other accessory, which is a very cool hat. I was thinking my mom might want it, but it's a size large. The brand is Scala Scala. It's got the feather in it and everything. And it says authentic Scala classic since 1921, natural fibers. Size large though. Let's, let's do a little super clean. Yeah, my mom wears these hats like every day and she looks so cool. I do not look cool. <laughs> I do not. Let's do a little. There we go. All right, let's keep on going. This is the territory ahead. I think this might be like vintage now. I love everything this brand made. I don't even know if they still make it. It was sold to places like REI. And this is a women's linen skirt. It's got a little spot on it. So I took a chance. Got some buttons, sort of an A line midi or maxi. And it's just so nice. Where's the spot? It's got a slit. So classic, but when I put it under my lights, I thought I saw a spot. So I'm gonna throw this in the needs to be wash pile. That's a nice piece. I'll show you this Tommy Bahama, but I know I did a little YouTube at the bins clip on it already. So I'll insert that clip. All right, I wanna take a moment to talk to you about my thoughts on this particular brand. Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama. It's sold at places like Macy's. It is quite expensive for these shirts. And five or ten years ago, I picked up everything Tommy Bahama and it would sell for 20 to 25. This is a size large. It's linen, which is good. But I'm not going to pick it up. However, I am going to pick up this one. And you're probably like, why? It's a size large. It's silk. But this one has a big embroidered back hit. Tommy Bahama Shark date club a good place to drop anchor so the ones with the heavy embroidery and more detail like that are still selling pretty well as far as I know the other ones like that are more plain I guess I mean I just have them sitting in my store for like 20 bucks with no interest so let's give this theory of mine a shot and I'll report back about whether this one sells better because it's got the big back hit, okay? Because I think that one's a pretty good one. I'm gonna put all this stuff, that's always the dilemma. This is a great brand to know, it looks like nothing, but it's standard James purse. It is so expensive, check out their website. Size three, I believe, is a large. This is just a basic, a gray V-neck t-shirt, but this stuff is so expensive that even a t-shirt in that brand should do well. Oh, you didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> I picked up another vintage linen. I have a problem. I find it there quite often. I do not take most of it home anymore because, as you can see from my decor, I have this stuff everywhere. And there's only so much you can do with it. I put it in baskets. I <laughs> this one I want to frame, though. Look, that's our sweet message for the day. Friends are the flowers in the garden of life. I have a couple framed linens and I just thought this would make, a, if I put this in a frame, a really nice little art piece. So I keep telling you guys I'm not gonna pick it up and then I come home. But I'm telling you, I'm being honest, I passed so much of it. In the past I would have piled it all in, but I just can't. This is a free people item, it needs a little bit of work, but it's a free people size medium sweatshirt sweater. There's a sweater in it. 
totally distressed look. I think it has a spot on it and it needs a little bit of depilling, which I'm gonna kick myself for when I'm sitting there depilling for 10 minutes. <laughs> but I have a hard time, like I know I've sold this before. That's like the Fair Isle sweater or something. Oh, I get to be a t-shirt bro again. I actually grabbed this and was gonna throw it to some of the guys, but I didn't see them. It, here's the tag. It's a Speedo made in the USA. I mean, that's not anything, but it, the graphic says N Speedo 1995. So, I mean, I, I'm filming this in 2024. This is an old t-shirt. It's okay if it has little stains and holes even, and it has a single stitch. So that's what you look for. That's what the vintage t-shirt bros. I don't think this is like a spectacular t-shirt or anything, but it's old enough. I forgot to look this up, but this is a silk tie by Rossini made in Italy. What do I always say? If it's made in Italy, I'm picking it up. And I sort of tell you guys, don't take my word for it or anyone's on YouTube. Do your own research. Maybe look it up, but I figure I could take this little bit of a risk. Oh, I Okay, time for some sad finds. I was all excited because I found so much free people today. This says We The Free, it's still the same brand. This is yet another We The Free tag, but both of these have holes in them. This one's kind of cool, super lightweight, and then it has this mesh shoulder, but this material is very thin, kind of burnout thin, and it's got holes, so I have to put these back. That's so sad. Both those free people tops, oh, bye-bye. This is an awesome bra brand, but I think I'm gonna have to put this back because it has no size tag and there's really nothing you can do about that. This is Savage. Um, sometimes it says Savage times Fenty. Um, you can't read that tag very well, but that has to go back because there's no size tag. I've made that mistake before. What else is in my pile? This is a good brand. I've sold it before. Mio Melli, made in Italy. You guys know I look up or pick up everything made in Italy. This has got some stains on it. See these? So I just have to decide whether I want to do a little stain treat, so that'll probably stay in the maybe pile. This is Lucky Brand size XL, and I do pretty well with Lucky Brand. You know, in the $15, $18 range for a top, this is just a flannel with roll tab sleeves. Um, a little out of season for me right now, but that doesn't deter me too much. This is another Free People. I love this one. Um, it's got this sweater in it. It needs a deep hill, so that's kind of annoying. It also has a spot, so I just have to decide. I mean, this looks like it'll come right out, actually. It's just a little... So it needs a stain treat. All this is normal, the fray. But then it's, it also needs a sweater shave. But it's so cool, right? Uh, I'm gonna kick myself later. Look at all this. All right, I gotta start sorting through this. This is what holds me up at the bins. So this is a top I thought was worth looking up, but I'm going to put it back. It's Lani the Label. I'm not really that familiar with it. And this is like a plaid puff sleeve bodysuit. But there's only 61 listed and only four sold things in this brand. So it might be a boutique or whatever, but it's just not a popular enough brand. All right, let's just have a fun, silly moment together looking at these fuzzy velour -vo leggings with cats on them. <laughs> cats with reindeers and cats with hats. <laughs> That's I gotta show you something, and this is the perfect time for a water break. My sister sent me this, and I'm like, oh cool, I've wanted a Yeti. And it's like my favorite colors, looks how it matches my ring. But then guess what she did, you guys? Wait. She put my logo, the Grateful Queen online reseller, on the back for my birthday, which was in March. I'm 48. Wasn't that like the most cool, thoughtful gift? I love it. <clears throat> okay. Let's keep chugging along. This is cool because it's new to me and I love new to me. The, the quality on this just felt so nice. And then it said, made in Peru, 100% cotton. The best cotton, Pima cotton, it comes out of Peru. So that was a good sign. Uh, made in Peru, 100%. And then it says, toes on the nose. It's some surfing brand. But the quality on this is so nice. If it was bigger, I'd send it to my brother because he loves surfing, but he's a large. Oh, a couple shirts in here that might be for me, but I'll show them to you. 
This is Love Stitch. I just sold a bundle of Love Stitch over on Poshmark. They make a gauze maxi dress that everybody loves. Look at the eyelet lace detail on here and the pretty colors. It's just a, a kind of a peasant top. It's very wide dolman, very wide across the chest. And it's just so pretty with the colors. And I like this kind of little lacy accent. So Quimby pile on that one. And then this one, which I don't think is going to fit me. One of you might get it. <laughs> uh, I don't know this brand. It's Artsy? No, Artsy? I don't know. Watch it be some amazing thing. I don't know. Tell me if you guys know. I got this for style because it's gauze, lightweight, thin, and the most, the best, like, ethnic -y print. You know, it just looks like something straight out of the 60s. Little balloon sleeve, but I just don't know if that's going to fit me. If not, I'll sell it based on keywords and style, but hoping it fits. Okay, we're going to keep going on. This is like an organic-y brand. Prairie Cotton, made in the USA, size small. And it's a super uh, cute style. A tank dress with like a ruffle hemline so it's like a midi it'll come mid calf super cute when i have stuff like this i'll put eco eco-friendly organic natural that kind of stuff this is the north face and it's a size medium the north face really pretty color this is like a base layer like a vented Long sleeve base layer top. Oh, here's the Lululemon that I really hope fits me, you guys. Again, I'm in the bins, flipping through, la la la, and then I felt this, and I'm like, oh, this feels really good. Couldn't find anything on it. Like, it's a blue, plain sweatshirt, but the feeling, I'm like, oh, this, it feels so good. This has got to be Lulu. Couldn't find anything. And then, look, it says Lululemon. Not even the logo. It's a spell out. In the same color, why don't they do contrast? It says Lululemon. I don't know what style this is. I will figure it out. Do you think it'll fit me? That's the question we all need to be asking ourselves. <laughs> and on this style, I don't know how to find the size. It looks oversized, so it could be any size. It has a little spot on the front. That's why I, I might have to keep it. <laughs> Rather than stain treating it. Yeah, I don't see any size. It looks like it's supposed to be oversized. I'll do a little research. I'll try it on. Fits me. I won't have to do any research. We have some Prana shorts. This is great for this time of year. Prana is sold at stores like REI. It's quite expensive. They're more like a yoga brand. But um, this is great for this time of year. Because shorts, people are going to be looking for shorts, tank tops, and dresses. You can't make as much money on a pair of shorts, so it's nice to find a pair of shorts I think I can get 20 bucks for. What else is in here? These are men's Lululemon, and I'm looking at them, I'm like, why is no one taking these? Why are you all pulling all this other crap? Like, it still has the rip tag. Size 36. Men's Lululemon. I don't know, I guess like cargo pants. Khaki beige cargo pants. I'll look up the style on those. Ooh, goody, this is J. Jill, size medium. We love J. Jill. Stick to the bigger sizes if you're paying anything more than bins prices, I would say. But this is a linen shift dress. Just a nice kind of limey green, 100% linen shift dress. Someone will want that. Had to get these. <laughs> I think I might try these on. These are Lewin Gray, which is part of Ann Taylor. I think it's Ann Taylor. Um, they're like athletic or casual line. Love these. Elastic waist jogger pants in animal print. If it comes down to an elastic ankle, it's like a jogger pant. I love those. That's not good. I'm loving too many of these things. <laughs> <clears throat> this is Carl Lagerfeld, which is a genuine designer. Um, I've sold some things from them in the past. Again, sometimes it sits for a while. Sometimes it doesn't sell for as much as I think it should, but this is a cute piece. So I'm hoping that'll help. Carl Lagerfeld Paris, 
size 10. But this is so classic, it needs to go through the wash because it's got some white little sweat. Sorry, that's the deal. Um, drop waist, pinstripe, and these are embroidered circles. Polka dot circles, midi dress. I have a feeling on style, this one should do pretty good. I mean, I haven't looked into this brand in a while, but I'm hoping, okay? More free people, you know how happy that makes me. Oh, except this is not for people. This is the buckle. Gimmicks by, by BKE. It's a mall brand. Gimmicks by BKE sold at the buckle. Size large. Thermal top. Nice blush pink. Kind of longer length with all these lace details. That's super cute. And what else do I... Oh, this is a good brand, I think. Bardot. This is a pretty dress. Bardot. Women's size US 8. So pretty and it's white. So I hope that wasn't a mistake. I mean, I, I, I've been reselling 12, almost 13 years. I can take some risks at the bins, but I'm telling you from one thrifter to another, if you're gonna buy something white, bring it to the front of the store by the windows and really look it over. Cause it's so rare to bring something home and it's white and there's no flaws. Look at how pretty this is for an event. Halter neckline around the neck, all lace. And I love when it does this, like it's it's lined down to about above the knee and then the bottom part is unlined and it's got a nice open back. So hopefully that does pretty good. It's a nice little number. It's just new with tag thing. Oh, I personally love this brand. Size large, CNC California. Personally really like this brand. Little shorts, they're Lyocell, they have a floral print, and I'll hope to get $15 plus shipping on those. Here's another very expensive brand that sometimes takes a little while to sell. Let me know in the comments, do you consider yourself more of a quick flipper or like a long tail get the best price? They're both totally legitimate business models. I feel like I'm kind of a hybrid because I can only thrift like once a week at most. I just get anything like I think I can sell. I, my goal in my head is like, can I get $15 for this? And I will pick up something that I think I can get 15 for. A lot of people just leave that behind. And if I could thrift more, I would focus on more like $30 items, but that's not my situation. But I'm also okay picking up something like this that I think is gonna take a while to sell, but hopefully it'll sell for a little more. It's Lafayette 148, very expensive women's career. Um, where it needs to go through the wash. I see a little sweat or something on the collar. It's a size 12. Just a gorgeous black peplum where it goes in at the waist and then out. Peplum blazer. That's a really beautiful piece. It needs to go in the wash. I have like 20 piles over here, so I don't know what's what anymore. Okay, this is another one of these things I never would have picked up if I didn't learn it from other people's haul videos on YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. Love YouTube. This is Democracy Jeans, specifically their AB technology. So Democracy Jeans, and then below on the tag it says AB technology. That's what sells well in this brand. Size six, women's dark wash, intentionally distressed, skinny jeans. These sell, I don't get it either with those. <laughs> I don't know, but they do. Here's some more linen-y pants. They're a size large by Jasmine. Don't know that brand, but like I said at the beginning of the video, 100% linen, wide leg pants. Ooh, and these have boho -y details, so let's have fun with that. These are cool, actually. So they have some embroidery by the pockets and some pleating, and then look at the leg. This is sewn into like a gathered ruche, pantaloon, parachute pant, balloon pant detail, so, I'll be able to say art to wear, artsy, lag and look, boho, and those will sell for more. What are these babies? Ooh, Patagonia pants, nice, and an XL, fantastic. Get your hiking, camping, outdoor gear stuff up now. Really nice, I don't know if these are men's or women's. I'll put my hand in the pocket. Nice deep pocket, which could mean they're men's. Kind of a nylon, cargo-y pant. Perfect for right now in an XL. That's fantastic. 
I picked up all these Smartwell socks for my family. You can't sell pre-owned socks on eBay, but if you look at this, that's the little Smartwell logo, and anything in this brand sells great. They make things out of merino wool that are like ultra warm, but they can even be lightweight, so that's fine for us. I found a few pairs. Oh, more Lululemon. Okay, I found these Lululemon leggings. They're super duper high rise. What the heck are these made out of, people? They are like spandex from like the 80s, 90s. <laughs> They're like almost slippery, slippery spandex feeling, super ultra high rise, I'd say. I can't find any size dot or anything. There's no little pocket. So I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on those. Full length, those are like a long full length. And here's another pair of Lululemon. Black, these need a little D-pill, I'm not gonna lie. I think these are the Align too. Black Lululemon. This feels like silk. Ooh. Bala Valentia for Vica Moda. 100% silk. That's a nice tag. So we got Italy. We have silk pleated classic trousers. Those might even be vintage, but those are butter. Those are gorgeous quality. Picked up these Joe's jean shorts. These are a size... 32, the Aussie four inch cutoff short. Here's the Joes. I tend not to pick up Joes, but I figure these are a good size and it's the right time of year. Someone's gonna want some perfect little cutoffs, right? Yes, Quimby, you're so right. Genuine suede skirt. Ooh, attenzione, Italy size 12. Yes. Yes, please give me all the high quality fabrics from Italy. I don't know what that tag is. Do you, I mean, I don't care about that. I care about classic suede pencil skirt made in Italy. Yep. <clears throat> I don't pick up much Nike, but I picked these up because they are so cool. They're sweatpants shorts with like black with a tropical print. So these will be easy for me to Google lens. Do you guys Google lens? Like I'll just say, if I have an interesting enough piece, I'll just take a photo of it and use the little Google lens and often it'll bring up the style name. I wonder what this means. There's the Nike Swish, but then there's nothing in the box. Probably some styly thing they did. Those are cool. All right, let's keep going, we're almost done. Okay, one more bag left. I got this bathing suit because it was new with tags. La Blanca retailed for $59, size 12, just the bottom. La Blanca is a pretty good brand. And it's new with tag, La Blanca. A lot of people buy the bottom and top separately because, hello world, we're, you, we're not, most of us aren't one size. We might have a bigger bottom, bigger top, uh, bigger everything. <laughs> One of you who buys something is going to get these from me. <laughs> these bacon and egg socks. That's right. When I see stuff like this, just fun new tag stuff, I'll throw it into someone's bundle or something. It's just nice and fun. Ooh, this is gorgeous. Oh, I like this brand Parsley and Sage, size extra large. Another great kind of artsy bohemian brand. And look at this. Oh, it's white. Peasant top with tons of embroidery and pin tuck details. See this? This is like pin tucking. It's a style detail sewn into a lot of garments. Oh, look at the lace trim on this. That's just gorgeous. I want someone to have that. Here's another linen piece. Someone threw this back and I'm like, I'll take it. Gillian Gray, no idea, but size extra large linen. Gilly and Gray, never heard of it, but I like the size and I like the material and I like the piece. It's an oatmeal-y kind of beige color. It's almost like a trench coat. Or is it a dress? The whole thing buttons front? I'll steam that up and put it on my mannequin and then we will know. Oh my gosh, Quimby, you got another linen item. How funny. <laughs> and another linen made in Italy item. That's so funny. Purlino, made in Italy. 
great stripey and color on this one, right? Now let's see, what side are the buttons on? Because this could be men's or women's. The buttons are on the right. So this is a men's 100% linen, Italian, casual button-down shirt. Ooh, more smart wool socks for us. This is Lucky Brand, which I will tell you is selling great for me again. I feel like when I first started reselling, sold great, and then it didn't. And now, like, I'm selling all the Lucky Brand peasant blouses again. Just for, like, $15, $20, but they're so easy to photograph and list. And this is a Lucky Brand size XL, just a flannel popover. I wouldn't have got this probably an extra small, but an XL I would. I did. And we're going to finish with one of these maxi skirts, which is great to know about. I have no idea what this brand is. Denim 24-7, size 14. I think this is kind of like a cheap brand. But I don't really know whether that's a cheap brand, so I shouldn't say. I pick up all these maxi skirts. That's the, the information I want to impart to you. These maxi skirts, these elastic waist, full tiered, bohemian festival hippie maxi skirts i sell them all okay i don't know what brand it is sometimes this one's got some swiss dot and some lace i just put those keywords in long full tiered maxi skirt festival bohemian i've sold vintage ones modern ones all sizes something about this classic full women's skirt people love so i pick them all up i'm like oh there's another one i'll pick it up Yay, we did it. We did it. Another fantastic bins haul. I'm so happy you're here. I appreciate you. Hopefully by the time you see this video, I will have hit 10K. <laughs> it has been a long, slow grind, but I love it. And the comments from you make everything worth it all the time and everything. So thank you for being here. I'll see you for the bloopers and then in the next video. Bye. That will... What is the word you're trying to say? Use a word. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so nice for putting up with me and my quirky weirdness. And it's a longer leaf, leaf? <laughs> it's a longer length. Okay, this ends the stuff. I'm going to put this all back in the bin. You don't need to know this. All right, I'm just going to do it because this stuff is already somewhat processed. Good job, Quimby, good job. Good job, Quimby. Just keep going. Have a sip of your tea and keep things moving. I got things to do. Shipping to do, all sorts of things. Okay. Whoops. Can't make, you can't make. Let me try this for the fifth time. I'm going to show you something. Not, not me itching the nose. Or are you, uh, wait, what's the, what am I trying to say? Thank you.